Welcome to EB Live and to a very special presentation. Fast Track, No Limits, the web show. Hi, my name's Lee Goldberg, and I'm the writer and executive producer of the exciting new action movie, Fast Track, No Limits, which is about four young street racers addicted to speed. Not the drug, but driving very, very fast in very hot cars. This isn't just another action movie. It's the first English language street racing movie produced in Germany, using the very best stunt drivers in Europe and starring actors from Germany, the United States, the UK, Canada, and France. We'll be talking with two of our stars, Aaron Cahill and Andrew Walker, our automotive technical consultant, Sam Baer, and you. Let me give you a quick peek at my movie, Fast Track, No Limits. Aren't you out of breath? Aren't you <laughs> exhilarated? I bet you can't wait to run out and buy the DVD from Blockbuster, Amazon, Netflix. But don't do it just yet, because we've got an exciting show for you. I am joined here today by Andrew Walker, one of the stars hey of Fast Track. Now, if you're looking at him and going, where have I seen him before? He looks vaguely familiar. <laughs> Wasn't he in Top Gun? Or no? Take a good look at him. Imagine him without his clothes on alongside a B-list actress. He has been in more Lifetime Women in Jeopardy movies than any actor alive. Every time I've seen you in any movie, you always manage to have your shirt off in bed with some gorgeous woman. I, I don't know. I just end up finding myself in these positions. I'm just In these positions. In these positions. Or <laughs> well, as I mentioned before, we're taking questions by chat and also by Skype, and we've got a caller on Skype right now. What question do you have for us? Well, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, well, I, I, you know, I applaud you for your, uh, your lifetime record. I'm envious. <laughs> Aren't we all, Brandon? Most people are. Yes. Most people are, Brandon. But... Um, what kind of challenge did you face as an actor shooting an action film? I'm a, I'm a producer, director, and I'm just kind of curious as to how I could better prepare my actors for you know, a physically challenging film. One of the very best ways to prepare an actor for a, a role like that is to write them a really great script. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> possible way to prepare them, with wall-to-wall -wall action, and when there isn't wall-to-wall -wall action, floor-to-ceiling sex. Now, I've got a question for you. I, well, I shouldn't say question. I know one of the best parts of doing Fast Track was that not only did we get to watch all this action, we got to participate in it. You got to go to stunt driving school, didn't you? Yeah, stunt driving school was pretty bad ass. Can I say that online? I don't know. But it was, it was amazing. I was always used to just, you know, used to driving on, on, on slick roads. But when they have water cannons shooting up in the middle of, you know, a track and you're you're able to, to just beat the hell out of these cars and it doesn't come out of your own pocket and I, you know, have to go home. What's and amazing like... is they were paying <laughs> us to do this. They paid us to spend a day driving BMW sports cars through rain slick tracks and oiled tracks and stuff. It was, it was amazing. every 12 year Even old. Even Lee. Dream. Even me. I got to <laughs> use my, my influence as writer and producer to say, although I'm not on screen, I think it's important to my understanding of the characters that I get behind a hot BMW and drive it like hell doing the uh, Just to make sure trips. it's safe for the Just actors. Just to make sure it's, it's, it's safe. We have another call from Skype. I believe it's um, Rodney online. Hi, Rodney. Yeah, Where are you calling from? How are from? you doing? Yeah, i uh, calling from Kentucky, and I have a question uh, actually for you, Lee. Okay. Mr. Goldberg, sorry. Uh, Sir it, or your uh, highness is, is fine. We can be <laughs> Okay, so when writing this, um, this the character of Nicole Devereaux came across to me as 
is in in a European market, is that something that people would be sympathetic to? I mean, you know, rich, intelligent woman who has an open marriage. Is that just, I can't imagine that playing well in the States. Well, that's because you're in Kentucky, my friend. Here in California, everyone has an open marriage. And she is French, after all. Actually, I'm, I'm joking. And for those who haven't seen the movie, we, one of our characters is a, a wealthy French woman who's sort of dabbling in the world of street racing for the thrill. And as, as Rodney mentioned, has an open marriage. We're just trying to have interesting, unusual characters that you haven't seen in these kinds of movies before. Characters who have some rough edges, who are sympathetic and unsympathetic at the same time, like people you actually know. We didn't want to have straight ahead cardboard action heroes. We wanted characters with a little more depth, and hopefully we succeeded. Um, I hope we did as well uh, from we, this we, side. We tried in the script and we tried in, in, in the acting. Well, I definitely enjoyed it. Congratulations to both of you. You made a, uh, you made a really good movie and hope there's going to be a sequel. Well, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Let's talk a little bit about the driving you got to do. It's unusual that we let actors do their own stunt driving. At any any break that I'd get, I'd be in a, I'd find myself in a car just trying to you know mess around, get a feel for it. And on top of it, the stunt the stunt coordinating team were the most thorough group of people that I've ever worked with in my entire career, bar none. And it felt good. But it wasn't all acting. There's actually one sequence where Andrew was driving a car and smashed into another one, and the car. To, to give it away a little bit, it was on a track. So theoretically, there was no driving that had to be done. But the car actually slammed into the car beside it. So the look you're going to see on Andrew's face in this clip is not acting. It's, it's a, a genuine slam. It's actually because once the car slammed, I didn't think it was going to slam so hard that I slammed my head on the, the door as well. And it just totally took me by surprise. So. Another sequence like that too. The, one of the other actors, in fact, you saw him in that clip. Joseph Beatty was in a car and um, was supposed to act slamming into a wall, and actually slammed into a wall. We have a question all the way from Portugal. Axel Zan and the team directed episodes of Alarm for Cobra Eleven. Yes, he did. In fact, the whole team involved in um, this movie was the same team that did Alarm for Cobra Eleven, one of Germany's most successful action shows. We also have another question from Aileen. How many cars did you trash? A lot. For every major picture car, those are the, the cars attached to a particular character or they had a major role in the script, we had three of each. And I think we trashed every single damn trashed, one of them. You trashed every, every car. Some of them, by the end, were held together with painted duct tape. It was, uh, that was part of the fun, knowing we could trash these cars, not all of them, but that there was a team there to fix them up, that it was no big deal if you smashed a car on the side or broke a headlight or whatever which was, again, we were like big kids. We were just nudging each other. Could you believe we are in Berlin trashing cars and having so much fun? And I think that fun, that exhilaration that we were all feeling comes through on the film. And I think that's one of the reasons you'll hopefully enjoy watching it. And I should say again, it's available now at Amazon, Blockbuster, Netflix, Redbox. And starting November 1st, you'll be able to look at it video on demand from your favorite cable supplier. What you're going to see right now is a clip featuring Alexia Barlier, one of the stars of Fast Track, telling you a little bit about what it was like to work with these action professionals. It's, it's so incredible what they do, action concept, is, my God, we saw cars that goes up in the air and then uh, this stunt guy going beneath with another car. It's incredible. 